All right, let's do this. Wow. Your starting class items are no longer offered in the shop, even when this item is in storage. Shop enter generate items worth two gold. I don't know. I was I was really looking for to go for a poison build, but that also means we're not gonna get these items, which means we're not gonna get a flying arlic for a poison goober. We're not gonna get death scythe. This is a risky item to get. On the other side, if you don't really need your class items and you only need the neutral items, then you're solid. And it could possibly help you get those neutral items sooner. You know what I mean? Which I'll entertain this. So we're going to sell it eventually, right? But for now, what we could try is W King a Pananomium. Because that's just neutral. So we just need a corrupted crystal. We need the pan, which we could just start the game with the pan. You know, utilize that gold situation. Utilize the items. Sell it probably before I get my class item or a few rounds before the class item and try to W key a Death Scythe, Poison Goober, or a Flying Arlick. Um, and then go ahead and get that snake. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's get you. Um, let's get the pan, obviously. Garlic is good as well. Uh, let's roll here. Again. Space. Eh, you know, I guess I wouldn't mind having a banana. I'll take both of those. Very interesting start we're doing here. Um, on a bright side, this is every three seconds, which is going to be a nice activator inside of that storage coffin. So as far as poison goes, we should be able to inflict and deal DPS because of the pan. So we should be winning uh, these first few rounds, which is great. And then we can utilize this food situation as well. Roll. Again. I don't know how early I'm going to be able to actually get the... What you call it? The items that I need? Forgot the items I need. Uh, let's go this, that, that works for me. And that. We had a corrupted crystal. Because that's really all I need. Corrupted crystal. Um, some armors. And after that, we can really sell this. Because we still need those starting items. Would probably be able to lose to a burst build, though. Like, builds like this. The only reason we didn't lose is because of the stamina users. He did a lot of damage to us at the start of the game. That's why that's like that. And couldn't keep up with his own stamina. Which, a way to combat that is getting caps of resilience. But I think it's a little bit too early for the cap. I don't want to use up all my gold for that. So I'm going to pass on that. Space on sale. Always buy that. A goober? We can go ahead and get the goober because that's another thing we need, right? And it's round four. I say round five. Round five, we sell the stone batch. Hopefully we can get a corrupted crystal before then, though, because that would be important. Um, he's got an axe plus double banana and a pan. Very dangerous. Very, 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 very dangerous. Plus, this isn't on three stars. I didn't notice that until now. Can we win? No, we're not winning this. No. That's okay, though. Good game. Blueberry, blueberry. Do I need you? Yes, I do for the activator on this guy. So, yeah. Skate blueberry. Um, put the goober here just to activate it like so. Space is good. I'm just gonna put those right there. All right, so next round we're gonna sell. I might actually just W key to shop here. See if I can get me a corrupted crystal without having to worry about my class items being inside the, the item pool. It's a possibility. Hopefully it actually works out. We'll see though. Man, breaking through that armor is tough. Woo! We was able to come out on top though. Good game. Ooh, getting a garlic is kind of nice right there. All right, so we could get a corrupted crystal. Damn, a leather armor is nice, but kind of just want that crystal. One more roll. I don't think we're going to be able to get it. No. Oh, we actually did. Wow. Okay, awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Let's go. Um, Yeah, we're going to sell you now. I honestly did not think we were going to do that. And we could do this. 
Oh, that's not inside of the... Uh, I wanted it to... You know what? It's okay. We could just do that. That works for me. You could honestly do that, too. You know what could be better is just doing this. So I can act as an activator. I think I'm honestly just going to do that instead. Okay, this works for me. Uh, no, well, wait, wait, wait. Forgot I had that. Okay, that works for me. Okay, he's also got a goober. He's got a lot of weapons. But he's got no stamina. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage to us at the start. But then he's going to start... Meh, 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 meh. Meh, what I tell you? Meh, do it again, do it again. Meh. You see? Now we just got to survive with our food and the goober healing us. Stack on that potion. Now we're tied. And we win. Beautiful. Boom. All right, so now we're going to get our class items to round after. So we got two rounds in order to get the items that we need. Now, we could buy this stone skin potion just to use it on a leather armor. But I think I'd rather just get the leather armor first. Speaking of leather armor and we also do want to get a uh, poison potion i mean a poison dagger so that's kind of just free which is amazing um so let's do let's see here uh, a two second cooldown so i guess we definitely want to do something like this we could also just rotate this guy and put him in the middle do something like this but all our food's gonna go on this side right that's where all the food's gonna go regardless right so i guess what we really would want is something like this i feel like this would be ideal but it also means that the pandemonium itself isn't inside unless we do this so this would work too and do something like that um we're gonna be lacking on activators, which isn't the best, but maybe it'll be fine. So let's go with, actually, maybe not. I feel like this would be ideal, actually. That way we can still use those star slots over there and still have like an activator right here, right? So we can do something like boom, 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 boom. So we got all activators inside of the coffin. All activators right here as well. We're missing one, which I guess could easily be solved. We just did this. Um, I guess armor can go up there. Not having that many activators on the goober is a little disappointing. I know I did not just pass on that potion. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna have to find me a whole nother freaking potion now. That's disappointing. <laughs> Very disappointing. It'll be okay though. But I guess we'll just go with something like this. Even though we're lacking on activators, I think it's just more important that we get that poison up there. Um, so yeah, we'll just go with this. We'll see what happens here. Plus the armor is going to help us with a little bit of that survivability. The tank builds like this at the start of the game. While we just ramp up that poison a lot. Already at 15, which is not bad for the start of the game, honestly, in the earlier rounds. I say we take this one home. Yep, this looks like a W. Boom. Good game. Next round is class item round. I'll take this blueberry. I'm actually just going to keep rolling here. Oh, very nice. All of this, very, 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 very nice. Very nice. Extremely nice. Um, Honestly, I say just do that. It's a faster activator at the end of the day. We can even just do something like messing it up a little bit but something like this um and then maybe doing that trying to see if i can manage to get like something like this while also putting the armor somewhere like this Um, I guess what I could also do is this, move that down by two for no reason, because I don't know what that achieved at all. <laughs> I don't think that achieved anything. 
Unless I sacrifice this and just do this. Sacrifice like a star slot in order to have this slot here, which can be utilized for that. And this can just go there. That way I can have full activators. Armor can go there. This can go there. We're with this. Just have full activators on the good. We're with this. Oh. Hey, Far. I don't play Warframe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, though, for the offer. This is an interesting build this guy's going with. Reaper with the Leaf Badge. He bought a carrot. Don't know why you bought a carrot, but he bought a carrot. So that's a thing. I guess for the... I don't, I don't know why you bought it. I guess for the empowerment. Yeah, that's probably why, actually. Gaining clovers from the leaf badge. And then you could just gain empowerment. And utilize that empowerment with your daggers. At least that's what makes sense to me. It's not a bad idea. I give him props. Alright. Let's get Venomancer, obviously. And honestly, we don't really have space for this death scythe. But yeah, we really don't have space for the death scythe. It's really unfortunate. Now, what we could do is say no, no to the goober until we get another flying arlick. We could sell this stone and then put the death slice somewhere. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. So I'm just gonna do this. Boom. Um. This guy's got to go like this, right? Boom. And the pan. We could just do this. Actually, no. Keep it like I had it. Because the pan's going to go down here like that. And then all the food is going to go inside of here, which means we got to move this up by one. So we can have those extra two slots right there, like so. Um, yeah. Let's go boom, boom, boom. So that's fooled out. We can also do that. We don't really have a spot for the armor, though. So, I mean, I guess we could just do Goobert here. Since we don't have a slot for the armor anyways. And Dagger can go there. Stone armor? I am. I will. That's what I'm looking to do. You missing out on a bad game? <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, that's what I plan on doing is going stone armor. Um, but we just don't have the spot, the, the space for it. So it's kind of just unfortunate, really. Because we're also going to need those corrupted crystals for our survivability. I don't know. Yeah, damn. Man, the game's not being nice to us, is it? We need space. But I'm not willing to give up on these things at all not willing to give up on them but i can buy one now that gives me a little bit more space okay wow okay i'm gonna be utilizing these a lot next round yeah three freaking corrupted crystals give me space right now in another flying R, like, please. That's what I need, want, and deserve. I think we lose this one, too. He's got crit wood staff, 30 on my dome at the start of the game. Magic staff, increasing the damage of both of those. Yeah, it's like a burst build, pretty much, and we have no survivability. Because we have no corrupted crystals or anything like that. Oh, how's the game tied? He just ran out of mana, is that why? Wow. I was not expecting to win that at all. I'm genuinely surprised. Now, can I fit you? I'd have to sacrifice. Realistically, I'd have to sacrifice to fit. I mean, we don't really need you there. So what we could do is do this. And just go ahead and upgrade it. We're sacrificing two star slots, though, which is not ideal, in my opinion. But at least we can get double corrupted crystal inside of there. 
Sorry, DPS decreases, but our survivability increases here. And honestly, we would want to get this stone skin potion for another leather armor, but we kind of need other items right now. So I'm not really trying to do that, honestly. And that's probably just better. Because this is going to give us uh, more armor versus the banana. All right, we'll go with this. We will go with this. Flame whoop is interesting. I mean, he does have double pineapple, so he's definitely going to be having a lot of heat. Super heat build here. But at the same time, he doesn't have any... He doesn't have sun armor, which is a good thing because he's going to be gaining a lot of heat. That sun armor will be healing like no one's business. Absolutely no one's business. But... Our armor's looking pretty solid. The poison's looking pretty solid. Dagger and Goober kind of bad. Yeah. But they can be really good. <laughs> if it was a poison Goober and a poison dagger, which I plan on changing it to that. Ah. I wasn't ex I wasn't expecting the 100 damage right there. <laughs> At all. Should I pick this up? Should I keep rolling for a bigger space? All right, I'm glad I didn't pick that up. Very glad. Okay. Okay, um, we can put this back now. Because we could just do that instead. And we need some more armor slots. I thought this was three slots, but it's not. Did not know that until now. That is unfortunate. Unfortunate. Hopefully we'll be fine though, but that is definitely unfortunate. <laughs> we need like a helmet. Probably a, if I see a helmet, I'm gonna just buy it. That or another leather armor. A cheese goober is fascinating. Uh, brass knuckles is also fascinating when you don't have daggers. I think we win. Cause what is this build that this guy's got? I've got no idea. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty confident that we're probably going to win this one here. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's build is. But hey, I'll take a free win. I don't mind. Mr. Dapper, sir. And... Dead. Good game. I'll take more space. Um... Okay, that wasn't bad, actually. There goes our Poison Goobert. And there goes our Poison Dagger. We don't have enough money for both. Unless I were to sell this. But then we won't have enough space to combine anything. But I'd probably say the Poison Goober is more important uh, than the Poison Dagger at the end of the day, right? So let's do that. Get this Poison Goobert on the field. Um, I could probably just do that instead. And then we could just go like that. Um, this guy can still be a can still be here if I do that. And I guess just in case we run into another leather armor, we might as well just pick up the stone skin potion, just for the possibility. And yeah, we'll roll with this. That's not looking bad. That is not looking bad. Ooh. Poison versus poison build. I got double corrupted crystal though, but he's also got glowing crown. And he's got plenty of mana generation to proc that glowing crown. Honestly, we should probably get a glowing crown realistically because we're not using our mana for anything. Look how much more poison he's able to generate though because he has that poison goober. Man. But at the same time, we're able to generate more block because we have double corrupted and he doesn't. So there's that, right? Our food's getting up there, too. But boom, that thing proccing is nasty. That thing proccing is nasty. But, I mean, it's kind of close poison numbers. He's still able to generate more, though. Or at least he's cleansing. Because he can cleanse two poison with his goober. Both of us did the same amount of damage. Ooh, yeah, that's game. Wait. 
Damn. No, he, we won. Surprisingly. <laughs> we freaking won. That's insane. All right, let's get you. Um, Let's roll here. We don't need a second death scythe. No shot. Yeah, it would literally only be on this. Unless I did this, but then we won't have food for the pananomium. Unless I did this. Nah. Nah. Um, I think I just roll for space. Yay. And then try to get another stone armor. Would be ideal. Or leather armor, rather, not... Well, same difference. Okay, so... I'm just gonna probably do this. Um, kind of missing a food, aren't we? If I move you up... This is better activators, right? Because the snake is every 2.6 versus 3.0. So yeah, this is probably just better. So I'm just keeping it like it is. Do this. Um, yeah, that'll do it. I still need an armor slot for this, honestly. Hopefully we can find one. Going against the Meta Ranger build. That's pretty much a Ranger burst build. And we have no burst protection because we don't have the helmet. But at least we have armor generation, which is probably just going to be our burst protection, realistically. But now that we got Poison Goober, we're able to generate so much more poison, which means we're able to generate so much more block. And that helped us a lot at that initial for the bursting. But he just procced his Clover, which means that Jin probably procced. Ah, we almost had him. One more poison there. That would have been game. Man, it sucks losing like that. But let's move this up now and then do that. Which means we need more procs up there. Which, I mean, I guess we could just get this DJ lamp. It's every two seconds. It's on sale. Let's just do that for a proc. Even though we're missing out on a poison thing there. We'd probably generate more poison on this poison goober than we would just with that one star slot. Um, a pass. I do need another proc up here, but that's every 3.5 seconds, which is the same as a blueberry. But we don't really... Be I guess we could benefit from the spike generation. Maybe we can get our DJ lamp to proc. Even though we... I mean... We generate blueberries. I mean, mana from there. And that, that'll also generate the clovers plus the DJ lamp. Ah. You know what? Yeah, let's... Why not? Let's just do that. Why not? Why not? And we'll just go with this. This will work for me. <laughs> Berserker Cheese Goober. I have yet to see a good Cheese Goober build, so... Prove me wrong, Mr. Berserker Cheese Goober. Prove me wrong. Let me see a good Cheese build. Cheese Goober build. Let me see it. You're not showing it to me. All I see is a big old freaking Bloodthorn. Oh, Berserker mode. That might show it to me. 50 Critty? Nasty. We actually might proc the gin. We only need like a few more of each one of those. <laughs> Surprisingly, I wasn't expecting to actually. Wow, we actually proc it. Damn, our pananomium is doing a lot of damage. Ouch. I was not expecting to proc that, but I'm kind of glad I did. Got another leather armor. Let's go. Roll. And we got a cap. Cap wouldn't be bad. I think I might want to rearrange this situation a little bit. Let's do this. Eh. Just gonna move you down there. Because I can do that, that, that. Even though I do want to utilize this garlic. I guess we don't really need to utilize the garlic. Can I do this a little bit better somehow? Uh... To like fit the cap in there, maybe. I don't think so, because I got two slots here. That's what I'm looking at. I don't think I can. 
I don't know where to buy this, but that means I need money. The only thing I could sell was a garlic. Well, technically speaking, I could do this. And just sell this for two gold. Buy the cap. Buy the protective purse. And I'll be good. So I honestly think it might be the play here. So yeah, sell you. Buy this, buy this. That can go up there. And no, we're not getting a cap of discomfort. But yeah, this looks good. We'll roll with this. <laughs> it's looking good. We got our burst protection, a little bit of burst protection. Um, we got a lot of armor, triple corrupted crystals. We can fit one more, two more actually. We can get two more corrupted crystals. So that'll be really good. We'll see how we do against this dragon build though. He is somehow removing our poison, cleansing our poison. Something cleansed our poison, I think. Hopefully we'll be fine here. So far, it's not looking great, I'm gonna be honest. But that poison is stacking on him, which is beautiful. Two more procs and it's over. Yeah, one more proc. That's all we need. One more proc. Let's go. Good game. And boom. Got you upgraded. Now just need more corrupted crystals. And honestly, getting a glowing crown wouldn't be bad. Yeah, corrupted crystals, glowing crown. That's what we need right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the space just so we can utilize it. I could get another cap, but I feel like Corrupt the Crystal Glowing Crown is a little bit better than the cap right now. Didn't get it. I did get another DJ Lamp on sale, which means I could proc the DJ Lamp faster. So I'm gonna take it. And we could put the pineapple here since it procs faster than the, the garlic and then. You can honestly just do that. And then this guy can go right here. But I don't want it to proc on the side, so I'm gonna just do that instead. I'd rather it proc on, well, yeah, I'd rather it proc on a pandanomium. Cause the pandanomium uses 0.3 mana, this uses 1.1. So more than likely the pandanomium is gonna hit versus the death scythe when we're low on stamina. So yeah, <laughs> that wasn't a bad round, but I do want a glowing crown and maybe more blueberries or even a mana ore wouldn't be bad honestly but now that we have that we should be able to proc our uh we should be able to proc the lamp faster as long as we're not going against something that removes buffs which it seems like we're not going against something that removes buffs we're just going against a hammer build a dagger hammer build but it doesn't seem like a very good one so yeah we destroy this guy absolutely destroy that guy Good game. All right, let's roll. What's gaining you armor? It's the corrupted crystals. Seven debuffs inflicted, you gain six block. Also, hello, hello. How's it going? Game does not want to give me a corrupted crystal. I'll take this just in case we, I'm not corrupted crystal. Well, it doesn't want to give me a corrupted crystal, but it doesn't want to give me a glowing crown, but I'll take this. Um, Mainly just for, I'll put it there, the mana generation for the glowing crown whenever we do get it, hopefully next round, because I'm just going to W key it next round. Hopefully we can actually get it. Oh, oh, he put a bunch of red jewels on this guy, which isn't bad, because every time this thing hits, he's just going to heal a bunch of health back. I don't know what's up with the claws of attack, though. It's got a lot of stamina potion, which is going to help his claws of attack out. By a shit ton. We'll see what happens here, though. And he's got double bunny, probably for the stamina. Oh, that crit resist is nasty, though. We just crit resist it. Which is beautiful. Ooh. I mean, we might be able to win this, though. Ouch. He just healed so much. He just healed so much. Damn. He healed so much from those hits. Pro, 146 health from one ruby. And then 140 with both of those. He healed 280 health just by attacking. Wow. That is insane. Plus the vampirism with, you know, cause of attack was nice too. Good game.
Good game. All right, give me the glowing crown because a glowing crown would have helped me right there. Thank you. Anything else I need with my eight gold left? Just corrupt the crystal is realistically right. If I could roll one time and get a corrupt the crystal for seven gold, that would be pretty beautiful. But no, demonic flask wouldn't be bad though. I guess. I'll buy it. Yeah, this is all we need, honestly. This should be enough mana generation to get this thing to proc. Um, yeah, this is the build. It's not a bad build. Not a bad build if I don't say so myself. Going against something weird. <laughs> a Pandanomium Pyromancer. Why do you have two Corrupted Crystals right here? I don't understand. They could literally be in your armor slots to help you out with your Pandanomium situation because apparently you like it. Which I can kind of understand because, I mean, he's gaining heat from a Chili Goober. It's going to gain a lot of heat from a Chili Goober. It would have probably been better to put the Burning Banner on it versus a Dagger. I mean, the Burning Banner actually has the same amount of speed. Never mind, I take that back. But yeah, um, very interesting build he's got. I think the only mistake he made was putting the Corrupted Crystals on the sidelines like that. I think they would have been way better inside of some armor slots. Plus, he's got two glowing crowns with two blueberries, which honestly, I think this battle might last enough, last long enough. Maybe you yeah, had to proc both of them because he's also going to gain mana from the, the rabbit. So that's going to be a thing. Plus, he's going to have increased healing because of both of his um, heart containers. He's going to have a lot of regeneration as well because of both heart containers, including the burning banner. Burning banner is removing my buffs, which means I'm not going to be able to proc the... Gin lamp not nearly as fast, but I mean, we already got 130 poison on him. His healing is gonna have to put in some work. Ouch! Yeah, that's game. Two more, one more. Boom! That's game. That was a really good game. Getting a glowing crown earlier would have been really nice. I actually wonder how much damage this demonic fly. I doubt it did a lot. I doubt it did a lot. 52 isn't bad. 740 from the poison itself, that was crazy. He actually didn't have that much healing. Not as much as I thought he did. He did most of his damage with just poison, which makes sense. He didn't really have any other weapons, but yeah, he would have definitely survived a lot longer if both of these Corrupted Crystals were in some armor slots. I don't know how much longer, but definitely just longer in general. But this is pretty interesting using heat to speed up your food so you can deal more poison is not bad realistically i actually might attempt a similar build to his i actually might but yeah that was a good game really good game we actually got a pretty good build here i think the only mistake was not getting glowing crown earlier and also passing on that poison potion that we could have gotten earlier which would have helped us get the poison dagger earlier but i think that was our only mistake that entire game really good game